Now that we have loaded our model into the SRP player and prepared it to be cut, and in this case it's at bust and we are using a cylindrical blank, let's go ahead and prepare the machine using the second software that comes with the Roland CNC, and that is the V-Panel. So again, we use the SRP player to uh, load our STL and prepare it for cutting. And now we're going to launch the V-Panel, and this is basically the control panel for our Roland. Now, let's take a look at the Roland, and notice that the bed is back under the, the, the cutting head, the bit itself. And so let's let's assume that uh, th this was the location it was in for the last cut. So we wanna actually prepare it um, so that we can load our blank and change the bit if needed and then go from there. So what we're going to do is come in here and we could move our cutter using any number of these. And what we wanna do is we wanna actually move it to that view position. So we're going to move it forward. So if you notice the bed basically came to the front, uh, moving it away from the bit so that we don't bang it um, and we can work freely. And so what we're gonna do is here is that blank. And if you remember, it's a rectangular blank, but we're, a, we're working off the circumscribed um, diameter around it. And please forgive me, we, we, we have not yet received our uh, remote equipment for filming. So I'm doing this with one hand by my, with my phone. So uh, if it's a little shaky and a little Blair Witch Project I apologize. I'm trying to make it happen as best we can. So the first piece to securing our blank is to tighten it on this end. And if you notice, there is a, a notch in here. There's one on the bottom. If this were a, a circular uh, blank, we could slide that in and it would hold it in there nice and tight. Also, if it were rectangular, we could slide it in and just make sure that um, our dividing line is right there at that, that notch tip. So once this is relatively tight, the next piece is this is loose because this has been loosened. We're gonna slide this right up against our blank and we're gonna make sure I, I drew an X to find the center point over here. And so once we've found that, I'm gonna push this up snug against our blank and then latch it down. Okay, so now it's not moving this direction at all. But in addition to that, we want to screw in, if you notice, we're starting to screw this in right into our blank to really hold it. And you can tell here, we've moved this in about a 16th of an inch or so, uh, plunged into our part. So now this is nice and tight. And to make sure that this doesn't rattle out uh, during the, the actual cutting, we're going to clamp it down by screwing this down. So now that's locked. So this actually is a three point locking system. One, two, three. And then lastly, we can come back and just make sure that this is nice and snug over here after those tightenings. And you notice that our, our blank is nice and, and solid. Okay, so next we need to um, ensure that our our collet and our bit have been securely locked in there. I removed this 32nd inch bit and this was using a, uh, an eighth inch collet. If you see the, the base there, the diameter, I inserted a, a quarter inch collet or, and a, a quarter inch bit in there. And I did so by using two uh, wrenches. And again, I apologize because I only have one hand. What, what will happen is this one will be wrenched this way and this lower wrench will be put this way. And so the two of them counteracting will open or close this, enabling us to put in the collet and tighten it in there. And before we, we leave uh, this apparatus, we need to remember that we need that minimum clearance of our bit to plunge into our base. And in this case, we need an inch. And so we, we do have that covered. Um, and so we're ready to find the origin. 
of our blank. And so the origin for all cutting is basically right here. It's the dividing line, the mid line, and it's one paper thickness above the blank. So right there is going to be our origin. And once we tell the machine that, we're ready to go. So, so let's go ahead and come over to our V panel. And if you notice, this is the manual X and Ys. And then this is our Z. And lastly, this is our A. This is what will roll our, our uh, beam. The A is currently at zero degrees, um, which is right, okay? It's, it's lined up. We could roll it 365. But now we need to bring our Y. And I'm gonna show you as we do that. So I'm gonna select Y to move it back. So I'm moving it back near our cutter. And now I'm going to move the cutter, uh, the bit along the X axis to line up with our, a little hard to see both. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to plunge the cutter just a little bit because we don't want to smash into our part using the Z. And once I get close to it, if you notice, I've been on high speed right here. I can turn this down to low speed or even by step, which is incredibly small increments. So I'm gonna just dive just a little bit. And then once I do, I'm gonna turn it down to that low speed and um, and make sure that it's it's right where I want it to be. So let's give this a try. So then I'm gonna turn it down to low speed and kind of eye up, actually that's pretty darn close right there. So let's go ahead and it needs to come just a little bit forward. And for the sake of time, let's say we're happy right there. So that is going to be our origin, okay? And we need to come back over and notice though that we have not yet told the machine that that's our origin. We're close, but we're not quite on. And so what we need to do is we need to come in here and set our origin. So right now um, we're a little out of an alignment on the X, Y, and Z. So we're going to set the X origin. So we're going to apply it. And if you notice that changed the X, we can do it to the Y origin and that change the Y. And then lastly, we're going to set the Z origin, apply it. And now we have our true origin for this piece, for this blank right there. And so we're happy with that. And now the, the cutter wants to confirm that. So we're gonna come down here and we're going to set the YZ origin at center of rotation, this very last option. And we're gonna hit apply. And what it's gonna ask us is, make sure that we have removed cuttings from the tool sensor. So this operation is where the Roland is going to test the bit. We've told it where we believe the origin is, but now it just wants to confirm that the tip is where it thinks it is. And so it's gonna go against this tiny sensor back here. We wanna make sure that there's no clippings on it or anything to, um, uh, to throw it out of calibration. And basically it's just gonna to touch that and confirm that its origin is the same as uh, where, where we have it as. So right now it's uh, taking it in detection and we can go ahead and watch that. And this actually is a very, very slow process. Sorry about the glare here. Um, because it doesn't want to smash the bit. You know, this bit may be uh, an extended reach bit, so it might be a couple inches away from the collet. Again, we might have provided some incorrect information. So if you notice, it's moving incredibly slowly here. But it is happening. Okay, so now it is homing in on its, its that's its uh, cutting base. And if you notice, 
it's cutting home. So now that detection operation is finished. We've said, okay, so we have basically prepared our entire V panel process. Notice it's no longer at the origin, but this is the new coordinates based off the origin we provided. So we've done our work in V panel. We can go back into the SRP player. And if you remember the SRP player is, we've moved all the way through these steps down into number five, perform cutting. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting and it's telling us, make sure that you're using a quarter inch ball and make sure you have one inch clearance in that, which we do, we check that. And we go ahead and, and then it says, make sure that you've set your origin right there at that, where we did that location here. And we did that. We're gonna go into next and it's gonna say, are you ready? And we are. So if you notice what it's saying is we've started the roughing one of three, this is the quarter inch ball, and this particular uh, pass is going to take 90 minutes. So here it goes in action. So if you notice again, it's, it's air cutting right now. And the reason is, is because of that circumscri circumscribed circle that we made. But notice, we're gonna let it go a couple um, rotations here to make sure that it gets to that corner so that you see when it actually is cutting. And basically what will happen is um, the, the cutter will plunge deeper and deeper. And you notice how fast this is going right now because this is the rough cut. So over time, uh, we'll do this rough cut one of three, and then we'll go back and we'll do the finishing cut using the quarter inch ball. And then we're going to need to as the machine's telling us, it'll stop and we'll need to do a tool change. And we'll take this, we'll take this 132nd inch bit and we'll put it into the, the cutter and it will do the, the finishing detail. So that in essence is our Roland at work. And we will do a quick video of the final product as it's coming out.